That's great news! Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow! Oh. No, no, no! Huh? Thank you! That is such good news! Oh my goodness! Alright, All right. bye now! Bye! <laughs> what? Well, who was that? What was the good news? Oh, don't worry about it. But it sounded so interesting! <laughs> it was! <laughs> Well, what was it then? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I don't like to share good news. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, I hate telling people good stuff. It's so boring. <laughs> but, but telling people good news is the best. Go on. Go, go, give it a try. Give it a try. All right, fine, fine. <laughs> I just found out, right? You know, I'm a personal trainer to the stars. I got the job, <gasps> you won't believe this, to be the personal trainer for the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie. <laughs> That's amazing news! I know! <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I guess you're right. Telling people good news is fun. Of course it is. Well, uh, uh, you tell me some good news. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, Jesus loves you. That's great news! I yes. know, oh, right? He's God, the creator of the world, and he loves you. Could this day get any better? <laughs> <laughs> good news we want to share it don't we like when people get married or have a baby or get a new job or a new house or a new toy yeah but the best news of all is that jesus loves us i'm gonna tell everyone <laughs> yeah 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 although looking at our spiritual training verse that we've been looking at this term we've already learned about being an example with our words the next thing that we're meant to be an example in is our love oh, gross w what does that mean well i guess that we have to love other people well that's easy, I suppose. I do love my mum to bits. Great, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's quite easy, though, isn't it? What about um, personal trainer Pete? Ooh, ooh, how dare you mention his name? I hate him. He's my sworn enemy. Every big job that I go for, personal trainer Pete always tries to get it before me. I hate him with all that I have! Yeah, see, that's the problem, right? It's not very loving, is it? <laughs> how you being an example in your love to him? Well... I'm not. And Jesus tells us a story in the Bible about a good Samaritan. Now, Samaritans and Jews used to hate each other almost as much as personal trainer Tom hates personal trainer Pete and the other way around. Uh, but he once told a story about a good Samaritan who showed love to a Jewish person, even though they were sworn enemies. Let's take a little look at the passage in a little animation. A Jewish man was traveling down the road Hello. and on his way, was attacked by bandits. Oh, no. They took his clothes, beat him up, and Take left him you. on the side of the road to die. Ah. A little later, a priest happened Hello. to walk by. But instead of going to help, oh, he crossed to the other side of the road oh, oh. and carried on his way. Then, someone who worked at the church Hello. wandered past. He went and had a look at the man, What's going on here, and then, then quickly oh. crossed the road Let's get out of here. and carried on his oh, way. No. Finally, a Samaritan Oi. walked by. Samaritans and Jews did not get on. They were enemies. I hate you. But when you. he saw the guy on the road, oh dear. he went over to him oh no. to help him. Let me help you out. He put bandages on the guy oh, and put him on his donkey to take him to a hotel Come on. where he'd be looked Off after. Off we go. He paid the hotel lots of money to help the guy there you go. and even offered to pay them more later if they needed it. So you see, some of the people in the story weren't examples in their life, were they? And they were the people that you'd expect should have been, like the priest and the Levite. They just ignored the injured man. But the guy who should have been his enemy went out of his way to help him. That really shows love. What? So what you're saying is I should help huh. Huh. personal trainer Pete. Yeah, I mean, that would be a great example of Jesus' love. Mm, I don't know. What? No? All right. Yeah, I'm in. I'll do it with you. Right, I've got an idea. Here we go. Let me give him a quick buzz <laughs> on the old blower. Yeah. <sighs> Hello, this is personal trainer Pete. Hi, Pete. Uh, it's Tom. Personal trainer Tom. Tom, I told you, do you never call me? I hate you. You're the worst. Oh. You're... Yeah. Oh, cheers for that. <laughs> I just actually wanted to give you a quick call uh, because I've been... Uh, been offered the job to train the Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Got into glow light! No, 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 but obviously, can't train them all, can I? So, do you want to come and help me out? Oh, yeah, what would you want? I'll pay you, of uh, course. We can sort of split it, split it do it together. <laughs> are you... are you serious? Yeah, I am. Well... <laughs> uh, 
I'd love to. <laughs> no, guys. I've never, I've never been so kind of ever to me in my life. Thanks, man. You're a real good guy. I look forward to working with you. <laughs> hey, great job, Tom. That's awesome. Was it difficult to do? Well, yeah, it was really difficult, actually. But I guess it did kind of feel good, too, on, on the inside. Oh, that's amazing. Let's pray, shall we? Jesus, help us to love people, even the people that we don't like the most. Amen. Good job, ninjas. How can you be loving this week? Could you give someone that you don't like very much a sweet? Or maybe say thank you to the teacher that annoys you at school and always tells you off. I'd love to hear what you got up to, so do let me know in the week. Hey, I've got something to show you as well. It's very gross, it's very messy. It's a clip of the game on Sunday where Kevin and Sue got gross smoothie poured on their head. Let me tell you what was in that smoothie, because it's really going to make you uh, scream. Uh, it had corned beef cranberry juice, garlic, and curry sauce in it. Gross! <laughs> no wonder they couldn't drink it, and the fourth it was, they had to have it poured over their head. Watch this. I'll see you back here next week for another Coastline Kids Online.